They've got to quicken the tempo a bit more, Dublin, you would think. They've got to use the flanks a great deal more also. And they're the two, that's the type of ball that the brother was looking for in the last two plays. Got out in front of his man, Bernard is showing well in front of his man, and he is dangerous. And it'll be Bernard Brogan who will take this one as well, ready to tie up the match. Dublin are ready to consider a change, and Philly McMahon looks like he's ready to come in. Rory O'Carroll, I think the injured player, would be the one he would be coming in for. Lots of jeering from the Donegal fans this time, but matters nothing to Bernard Brogan as he kicks over his second pointed free and levels the game after 25 minutes here, two points apiece. And it should be noted, beautifully struck with his left foot. That's the sort of skill set this man brings to the game. Beautifully converted to a piece. Do you ever get the feeling six points might win this match? Philly McMahon's on. And uh, sadly, Rory O'Carroll has had to go off. Possession one in the middle of the park by Dublin, Ger Brennan. He's given this one a little bit too much. Eamon McGee onto it quickly. Paddy McGrath back once again here towards the Arbora player. Lost to Michael Fitzsimons. Back there as well as David Connolly. Here comes Philly McMahon. Very glad to get into the championship team once again, I'm certain. Nicely played. Good early ball as far as Bernard Brogan. Back to Dennis Bastic. Lost, but regained by Paul Flynn. Needs to give it quickly. Booted in dangerously. Fisted out well by Frank McGlynn. No nonsense defending, and McGlynn is onto it again on as far as Michael Murphy. And the pace of the game picks up a little bit. Murphy gets as far as the 65 metre line. McGlynn once more. Turn back towards the support player is Rory Kavanagh. Ryan Bradley. Christy Toy now advancing. Trying to get through the blockade because that's what the game is looking to me like a series of blockades or roadblocks put in by both teams to try and disrupt the flow of the opposition cut out there well that was by Mark McHugh referee awarding a free kick and did he? No, he says play on Kevin Cassidy thought there was a free kick Bradley Walsh a little bit of Extra pace by Eamon McGee, but he lost it terribly easily there. Ger Brennan. Alan Brogan. Nobody to aim at, absolutely nobody. Well, the, the talk in the build-up of this about parking the bus across the defence. Ger, they brought the fleas with them, both teams. It's terrible to look at, it really, really is. Bit of a shambles so far. Eamon McGee. Double now getting players back again. 102 hand passes so far. That chance will make two or three hundred before the finish. That was a good kick. That was much more like it. And that was Kevin Cassidy, the star of the quarterfinal, kicking it from distance and putting it over the bar and putting Donegal in front by three points to two. Great score. Yeah, a slicer over the bar and then you've only a few seconds to recover because Cluxton taking the kick out short again. Out as far as Michael Dara McCauley who again runs into the uh, roadblock. Christy Toy, this time two men on him. Get it to hold on to it too long, ball turned over. It's Alan Brogan's turn to try and see what he can do. Kicking it from about 50 metres but inaccurately so. And that becomes Dublin's fifth wide. And they're still trailing by three points to two, and we've got six minutes to go to half-time. That's Pat Gilroy there alongside Paddy O'Donoghue, who's the uh, runner. Scoring chances made so far. Similar, nine. This team ahead. The conversion rates are even shocking, really. Less than 
33% accuracy in the convert. That's really, really low. Just the defensive setups are just so hard to beat. From this kick out, it's fisted back by Cassidy to a support player. Ready to take it again, Michael Murphy. Swung around there by Cahill, free kick for Danny Ball. Quickly taken on to Ryan Bradley. Five minutes to the break. That's on as far as Lacey, twice an all-star. Again, a thronged midfield. Christy Toy tries to get through the clutter. Donegal hold on. De David Walsh. Colin McFadden. With the left peg, it's a beautiful looking shot. His second. First from a free. This one from play. And Donegal have doubled their advantage. They lead by four points to two. This is really good scoring now by Donegal. They got the last few points. Up to the Dubs now to respond quickly. Alan Brogan. Only two pointed frees by Dublin so far. That's been the best they've been able to come up with against the masked Donegal defence. It's not just blanket defence, you might as well put the quilt and all the blankets you've got on top of it as well. This to be taken by Alan Brogan. About 40 metres out, and again he's kicked it wide at the near post. Well, he's really been forced Ger, to actually go for that when uh, it's, a, it's a really ambitious one. But if he plays it short, it's going to be eaten up by the defence. Isn't this exactly what we expected to see as Mark McHugh takes it out, that Dudley Gold would force Dublin to kick from at least 45 metres? Yeah, but you can, you can know all you want about it, Jerry. You still have to beat it on the day, and it's proving very, very difficult for Dublin to come up with a, a plan that can break it down, because it's very, very solid. Two between them, and there's a player down. Let's have a, a look at this in a moment. With Carol Lacey's down, I think uh, James McCarthy was involved with him. And the referee has. Oh, it was an 11. Yeah. Was it 11? My it was 11. Barry Carroll, yeah. apologies. So a yellow card going to be shown to Barry Cahill. James McCarthy had been uh, yellow carded earlier on. He was not at all the guilty party there. He was challenging, but it was Barry Cahill who caught him. So Carrie Lacey in need of attention following that collision. He's been uh, in stellar form this year, Carrie Lacey. I was reading a piece about him during the week. He has trained so hard in the gym and on the field of play. He is a tough nut, and I expect him to recover from this. He might need a few deep breaths, but you'll see Carl Lacey back, I've no doubt. They've all responded, Jim McGuinness was telling me, very well in the last couple of weeks to training. They put in a huge effort for this. OK, they're the outsiders in the betting, but they believe they can win this, and they're ahead at the moment by four points to two. I did an interview with Jim before the start of the Sunday game series, and one of the things he was telling me was, coming up to half-time, he refuses to allow any negativity yes. in the dressing yep. room, just bans it. Even if they're a point up, point down, doesn't matter. If somebody comes in and says, oh, wasn't it an awful first half, or didn't we do this wrong or that wrong, he refuses to allow that be yep. said. He's building on the positivity at all times. It's yeah. good psychology. Absolutely. And there's a positive even to be taken from this, Lacey will recover, there's a yellow card for Dublin, the free is another 13 metres forward, and it takes a break and the momentum is taken out of the game as we move into half-time. Perfect result for Donegal all round. But they're up against the Donegal, or up against the Dublin team who were after losing the last four semi-finals that they've played in. Kevin Cassidy. Dublin looking for late scores in this half, but under pressure, Christy Toy, what experience he brings in as far as Murphy, youthful endeavour, the captain kicking, looking for his score, hitting it under pressure, hitting it wide. Has a scored so far, five wides. This is well touched down by Paul Flint, and the support player is Michael Darrell McCauley. Dubs need to show what they can do. They've got ability, they've got talent, they've had a good campaign so far. Haven't shown it so far, haven't been allowed. 
Alan Brogan. But this is the challenge they're presented with. James McCarthy now. And he's gone laterally across to Kevin Nolan, almost bypassing, the, giving the responsibility to him. Now, finally, Dermot Connolly. It happened for him against Tyrone when he could do nothing wrong. Hasn't happened so far here. Well, 35 almost gone, and Dublin yet to score from play. When last of that happened, the Dubs went through a full half. It now looks like without scoring from play. Three minutes of additional time are being added on. And we're into that now. Well, the Dubs fans have come here expecting their team to reach the All-Ireland final and set up a match against Kerry. Were they already thinking about Kerry? They have a huge challenge on their hands now to try and get the measure of the Ulster champions. Ryan Bradley. Paddy McGrath. McHugh again back in as far as Rory Kavanagh. Finally carried on here by McGee, Evan McGee. In beyond Philly McMahon, runs kindly for Colin McFadden, past Fitzsimons. Running into a cul-de-sac then, recycling it here. Nothing hurried, nothing rushed. Paddy McGrath there. They're playing to a pattern, they're playing for one another. And the Dubs are chasing the game. That's overdone there by Christy Troy. Both sides have created 11 scoring chances in the half so far. And there's another two minutes to play of stoppage time. Demon Connolly. Challenged by Eamon McGee, dragged back by the jersey. From the free kick, it's Bastic. He's got a lot of space now, he can carry it on, or he can kick it in quickly. When he looked up that time, there was one player inside, Alan Brogan, inside in the square, waiting for it, but he had two markers on him. It's out with Ryan Bradley. Here's Carla Lacey, happily recovered, as you anticipated, Kevin. Eamon McGee now. Again, they're holding the possession. Number of hand passes, quite extraordinary, I think. Ball handled off, picked off the ground. Or was it handled on the ground, or there was a jersey pull even? Free kick. It'll be Michael Murphy for a trip. The referee who's uh, given yellow cards to James McCarthy and to Barry Cahill now shows a yellow card to Michael Murphy as well. So Stephen Cluxton is the one who's going to try and put this one over in the final 20 seconds or thereabouts of the first half. Who needs us? Dublin needs us. Well, the only one between them if he gets it. And he has missed it. Second attempt at a long-range free by Stephen Cluxton. Well, Pat Gilroy needs to get his team into the break quickly, settle them down and try and come up with some kind of plan for the second half. That was the trip there. That's the reason why Murphy got the yellow card. Trip on McCauley. Paul Durkin kicking. Might be the final kick of the first half. First half, where the entertainment value was very, very poor, but where Danny Gall have managed to get themselves a lead of two points at the break. Colin McFadden has got two of those scores. Dublin's two points have come from freeze from Bernard Brogan, and in the semi-final of the All-Ireland here at Croke Park, at the break, it's Danny Gall.